so we already did this Aussie's nails. So I'm gonna be doing his pads and feet, kind of a silhouette trim. It's really just gonna be his feet today. I'm gonna do this potty area a little bit. I wanted to show you guys a trick with the corded clippers and the detachable blades. I'm gonna use a five blade here and here, and I'm gonna use it on the tops of the front feet. Do this. Do you have an angle over there? Mm -hmm. Okay. Just simple, so he has some traction when he's walking around. Knock that off. It's all right. I'm gonna get a little bit in there too. Like that. Now again, I do like to do the nails before this because then they're a little bit out of the way. So I've already done his nails. Let's see if I can. Can you give me this one, buddy? Yeah. Good boy, you're doing great, buddy. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so here's my time saver trick before I do scissors on his feet. I'm gonna use the clippers. It's all right. <laughs> Thank you. Back brush, back brush. And I'm gonna do two feet at a time. I know I know. Oh, ding, ding. Oh, ding. Very fine. Yes, good boy. I'm using a five blade. I want the length here to kind of match what's already right here. So that's about a five blade, and this will save me a little bit of sizzling. And I like to do, you can or, or don't have to, I like to do down the back of this way. Just right up the middle, and then a little this way, and a little that way, and that'll do it. And then we'll scissor after. When you do this, front ones, we don't need to do anything in the back, just the top. I know, buddy. Good job. Okay. Good boy. Let's do these ones. Good. Being fussy. He's a good boy. Get a shot of those pretty eyes. He got a good face. Good boy. Oh. He's a good boy. Alright. Get this one. Good. You're doing great. I know. It's loud, huh? Goodness, that's loud. Anything on the back here, okay. And you can even do this mostly without picking up that foot if your dog doesn't like that. You can do that, all right? This. Or if I was picking it up, it's kind of the same thing there, okay? But you see how that five blade pretty much made that all look, and I never needed to use scissors, and the back of this looks better than if you had used scissors on it. Yeah. My mini clippers. I'm gonna do his potty area a little bit. Get that wee wee cleaned up just a bit. Just a little bit, that's his penis right there hiding in here. So that's what I'm actually shaving. And I might as well just turn it a little. And then I'm gonna try to lay it over. Can't be super comfortable. I'm gonna try to get it sort of a sanitary trim without affecting his look a whole lot. Okay. Good boy, good boy, good boy.
Let's go around with this booty. I'll check this side as well before I get to the booty later. Um, all right. All right, let's find a butt. Let's make a poop shoot. <laughs> you know what? It's not too bad. Hardly anything really needs to be done, but I'll tidy it up a bit so it doesn't get overgrown before his next room. I'm floating the clippers. I'm not holding them against the body because that would be far too short. So I'm really just sculpting here. Good boy, good boy. And again, that has not changed his look at all. Although I think it might be nice to neaten up the bottom of this tail to round it. That's just made me a kind of a perfection. Let's see what we got right here. Tidy this up too. Now he does not, he's fixed. So he does not have his balls. And I just want. All right, so now, what do you think? My plan, I'm gonna scissor his feet to neaten him up. I'm gonna scissor this so that it's not so choppy, like it's a, a more smooth transition from this to the feet there. Good boy. Good I'd like to pick up his feet, I have an easier time, but he's all kind of nervous about it. So I'm gonna to try to do it. You can really edge it over on the side here, and it'll look a little neater when he sets it down. So it's really but that's some perfectionist stuff that you probably don't need to do. Okay. You don't get good. Good. He's you know, always picking up that foot, so I'm gonna pick up his other foot so he'll stop stamping so much. And there are dogs that when you pick up this foot, they'll start jumping up and down on this foot. But most of the time it kind of works. Okay. Just a real little bit, and it's that transition down here that I'm really kind of wanting to. Smooth it out. Good doggy. Just keeping out a little of that stuff. Yeah. blindly because there are parts back here that you can slice all right now here i want to trim this tummy just a little so i'm going to put my hand in front of his penis and feel it and scooch it and then do this and that's just a little safer if you're gonna be Packing away under here, all right? I mean, you could do this forever. So at some point you gotta stop and call it good. It's just, I mean, he looks good. He's a handsome boy already. You see how I'm scooching his penis a little out of my way while I'm doing any snip snip right here. And don't forget that if the dog is intact, there could be balls back here and you're poking your scissors and opening and closing them. And so don't lose track of where the tip of your scissors are. But 
And then you can even get, you can get fancy trying to trim a little bit of this up here if you want. If there's something sticking out, flyaways that bug you. Man, he's beautiful. You're being difficult. All right, put your leg down then, mister. <laughs> you put that one down, please. Thank you. You don't want to be too much perfectionist back here because once you get it where it's a fairly smooth transition, once you see the dog, instead of right here from a foot and a half away where you see all the imperfections, you'll see the dog from 10 feet, 20 feet away, a dog running in your yard looks gorgeous. So do not worry about every little stray here. Good boy. Lucia.